Only the friends got opportunity of giving money to the bank and then they sold the bonds at a very profitable rate uh, on the market. This is 270 times the amount involved in the February transaction for three years. And it bulk of it was done through private place. That is, private people could come and place it. So the private person who got the permission were those who were friends with them. Not, not anyone else. <coughs> so, and the committee itself said primary dealers intervi interviewed by the committee was the opinion that private placement lacks transparency. Why? There is not an equal playing field. That they will can only they only give it to friends. Mr. Samarasid, who is the acting governor and chairman of the tender board, ratified the said sentiment. The committee observed that there is no proper mechanism with regard to private placement. There is no record as to how decisions with regard to private placement are made. Bulk of this money is 2.4 trillion or 2.4 trillion was raised through private placements. Mr. Samarasid explained that the practice of direct placement servicing the financing needs does not comply with the policies of the CBSL. The committee observed that the operation manual of the PD, the public debt department, specifies that arrangements to meet financing needs has to be through auction as much as possible. Even primary dealers confirmed that private placement overtaking the auctions may not be a good practice due to issues of transparency and effective market participation. So they have said that private placements are bad and lack complete 2.4 trillion rupees. Then <coughs> the additional <coughs> the amount raised by the direct public auctions of bonds is 288 billion. Now 288 billion, even that was not done properly. The procedure was not followed. The Samasri stated that practices prior to 2015 did lack transparency and undermined the effectiveness of the tender board committee. He furnished a document with regard to issuance of treasury bond auction held on 27 May 2014, wherein there had been no discussion or participation by members of the tender committee. Whereas the document contains observation have been signed only by the superintendent of PDD and the governor. Governor can't sit on the tender board. The tender board committee has not been privy to the content of this document since ex facie. The signature of the members of the tender board is not on record, nor is there a minute of the meeting of the tender board committee. So this has been done without going through the tender board. And the tender board consists of the following people. The deputy governor in charge of the public debt department, assistant governor in charge of the public debt department, assistant governor in charge of price stability sector, superintendent of public department, director economic research department, director domestic operations department, additional superintendent public debt. So, 2.7 trillion rupees given out to friends, not on a public auction, not by bona fide, bona fide. some of them form their companies to get into the stock exchange. Now, once you sold it in the market, 2.7 trillion, if you made a 10% profit, that is 270 billion rupees. If you made a 100% profit, it is 2.7 trillion, so you are somewhere in between. Now you know how the people made the money at our expenses. One way was this, then they took the money and played on the share market and they uh, made money, they controlled the share market and made more money. Then they put in various deals where they made money, because it was overpriced. So this is how the Rajapaksa regime became rich. Now we want to go ahead and go into all this, I have asked the central bank to look into this issue and uh, to get all the details to be placed before court. Now the opposition says, no, no, don't look into this, we only want to see about Arjuna Mahindra. But this is all in the report. And we all agreed the report must be gone into court. <coughs> so we want this gone into, the evidence will be placed before the <coughs> uh, court. And when you get the judgment on the case, we will place that also before uh, court to go into it. This is why they wanted Arjuna Mahendra out without inquiry. So once you start inquiry, lot more would come. 
I said, no, we'll go into an inquiry and if Arjuna Mahindra is found guilty, we'll send him out. If not, uh, we will, uh, we, then we will keep him on a governor. But what they wanted was not this inquiry. But now we have opened the doors of the cupboard wide and we know what they have done. We have found out the way in which they have been making money. So I thought for three years people have been suffering. These three years they suffered for longer. And we should tell the country that these have been exposed and we are going to present this to the Committee on Public Enterprises and ask them to have sittings on this issue. And uh, we welcome the appointment of, by the Speaker of the Committee of Public Enterprises to go into the whole report, uh, which I know the opposition doesn't like. So I thought we should uh, place these facts before the country.